this game or just YouTube? Just YouTube on this game. YouTube the rest of the day. This is High School Basketball on iTalk 1067, presented by Sholo Ford, produced by White Mountain Youth Productions in cooperation with iTalk 1067 Radio. High School Basketball is also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, Little Bluebird Studios, and Hudson's Furniture. And now, Sholo Ford presents High School Basketball. Welcome in to the Finlay Toyota Center where we are set for our second game of the day. And it is going to be a face-off between the Tuba City Warriors and the ALA Gilbert Eagles. So we have Tuba City coming down from northern Arizona and ALA Gilbert from the south, Gilbert, Arizona. <laughs> so uh, we've got a uh, battle going on here. We'll see who comes out on top. This is the Elite Eight of the girls' playoff back bracket here for the 3A AIA playoffs. I'll just give a quick little recap as to where people have come from here. So Tuba City on, over the weekend beat Tonke Verde 66-25, and ALA Gilbert beat ALA Queen Creek 81-39. to So admittedly, I don't know a lot about these two programs, but uh, if you are scoring 81 points in a game, as ALA Qu uh, Gilbert did, I would imagine that's going to be a recipe for success. Uh, just looking at their lineup, it looks like they've got some big, tall girls there, and uh, as well as does Tuba City. So I, this should be a real interesting matchup. I, uh, we, we should have a good one here. So um, as far as rankings coming in, ALA Gilbert comes in as the number three rated team in the state, while Tuba City comes in at number six. Um, I, as soon as I get some standings and uh, records pulled up here. I'll work on that as for you on the broadcast. So um, just to give you a quick breakdown of what we're looking at here, we'll uh, we'll get the starting lineups here in just a second. ALA Gilbert is coached by Al Springfield and Tuba City, I actually do not have their coach, so I apologize for that. Um, so here we go with the starting lineups. Looks like we're going to get Tuba City announced first as they are the visiting team since they are the number six seed. Well, I apologize. We're, looks like we're actually going to do the national anthem first, so we will uh, listen in to the national anthem here. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy, Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at sholoford.com. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. And welcome back to the Finlay Toyota Center here in Prescott Valley. We're getting ready for tip-off of Tuba City versus ALA Gilbert. And we are going to get the starting lineups right now. Starting for Tuba City, 
number three, Michaela Shepard. Starting at the other two guard position is Gracie Curley. Starting at the small forward position is Jada Chi, number 22. Starting at the four is Larissa Yazi, number 23. And starting at the five is Talisha Ataki, number 25. Those are your Tuba City starting lineups presented by Shola Ford. And now for ALA Gilbert. ALA Gilbert going with a little bit of a different look, not the traditional line. Everyone huddled up over near the bench. Number 10, Alyssa Duat. Looks like number 20, Kylie McCobb. Oh, sorry, that. Number 23, Keely K. And Tiffany Quigley as your center, number 34. All right, here we go. This is the Northland Pioneer tip-off. When it comes to tip off your college education, choose the college with the lowest tuition in Arizona, Northland Pioneer College. And here comes the ball for the tip-off. Uh, Tuba City gets a good, oh. Tuba City's gonna let that go out of bounds. And ball will go to LA Gilbert. Number 10 to inbound the ball. Over to number 34, that is uh, Quigley. Quigley drives down baseline, up and under for two. Get that for her first two of the game. L.A. Gilbert doing a little bit of man-to-man -man full court pressure. Number three up quickly to number 11, 12 feet, and in. Uh, let's, let's see here. Sorry, that was number 11, Gracie Curley, on it for her first two of the game as well. Both teams looking to extend the pressure here a bit. Oh, Number 23 for ALA, resets the offense here, looking to get the ball inside maybe. High post here to 34. Backdoor cut, nothing there. 34 dribbles over the left-hand side. Back out over here to 20 for the three. There we go. There's number 10. That is uh, Alyssa Dud. I apologize for slaughtering the last name, but Dudwat. Number 22, dribble drive up to the middle, pass out to number 23. Dribble drive over to the left, number three swings the ball around, number 22 for three. That is up and good. Both teams starting off extremely hot to start the game here. And that was uh, Jada Chi on the three point, quickly in underneath. That's gonna be a Charge? I, I don't know if I ever did see the call from the referee. Down. Oh, we got the referee over on the sideline that got that call. He's going to get an offensive foul. Well, Tuba, Tuba City and inbound the ball. Here comes our replay if you're watching online. Yeah, way to step over and take that charge. Good play. Quickly swung over around the top, back into the corner, number 11, up and over. Oh, they're going to get them for a foul. L.A. Gilbert on the foul. Looks like we're going to get number 10 on the foul. That is uh, Alyssa Dudwat. Got an early tied ball game here, 5-5. Five to five.
Second free throw up and off. Rebound controlled by L.A. Pushing the ball up quickly is Quigley. Up to the middle of the floor, up forward to the left-hand side, up and under, floats onto the rim and goes in. Great shot there by Quigley, coast to coast. All right, number 23, Yazzie, up to the middle of the floor, looking to pass that ball around, get it over the wing. Here's number 22, Chi, down underneath to 25, Ataki. Into 22, Chi, back out. Number three with a great, great hustle to save that ball. It's a good move, up and under for the score by number 25, Ataki, her first two of the game. Tight ball game, 7-7. There's Quigley. ALA trying to work it in. Good hands by Tuba City. Oh, they're gonna get a travel on number 11. A lot of contact there, not, not quite sure on that one, but uh, the guys in the stripes have to make the call and we've got to abide by it. Here's number 33 for ALA to inbound the ball. That's White Rock out over two. Let's see here, there's 33 White Rock on the dribble underneath. Looks like she's on the baseline. That's gonna be out of bounds to the city ball. Turnover Gilbert, or ALA Gilbert, I apologize. All right, Cheetah inbound over here to Yazi. Yazi bringing the ball up the front court. Triple drive over to the right, pass off over to number 11, Curly. Swinging it back around. There's Yazi in the corner, in underneath the Chi, up and up, and scored. It's a great shot by Chi. That's her fifth point of the game. Quigley, dribble drive to the left, back and down. Nothing there, baseline dribble. They're gonna give a foul on 25. That's Taki's first personal of the game. LA Gilbert lining up in a line formation. Everyone splits out, ball coming up top here to 33. White Rock, dribble drive, a little poke away there. Ooh, maybe could have been a backcourt violation there, but L.A. Gilbert retains possession quickly on the drive to the left. Good pass down to number 20. Oh, up off off her hands. Couldn't secure the basketball. Everyone pushing the ball here. Tuba City going quick. Kick out to 23 for three. Got it. Let's see here. That is Yazi for her first three of the game, and Tuba City shooting the ball really well from the three-point line. That's their second three of the game here early in the first quarter. Tuba City picking up full court, man-to-man, -man, Quigley over to the middle of the floor to number 10, Duat. Good pass out there, nothing going, good rebound. Number 25 looking to push it here for the Warriors. Quickly swung over to number 11, Curly. Curly now to 23, Yazi. Oh, errant pass, tried to skip it across. LA is there on the spot, up and under, nothing. Quigley, great rebound under there, good positioning. There's number 20 short on the shot. That's McCabe short on the shot. Here we go. There's the push up to Yazzie, swing out to Curly, number 11. Good kick back to Yazzie for three again. And Tuba City has come out firing here in the first quarter, building an early lead, 15-7 behind great three-point shooting by Larissa Yazzie. We appreciate you tuning in to iTalk 106.7 and on the web at italk1067.com. This is Sholo's presentation. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. And welcome back. Here we go. Uh, Tuba City staying with the full court pressure, being up by eight. Ball inbound quickly, number 34 for ALA Gilbert. 
She looks to break that man-to-man -man full court press and does so effectively. Dribble drive quickly up to the right. Backs down, kick out there to the new sub. Here we go, ALA Gilbert for three. In and out by number 23. Uh, that is Kay. Tuba City quickly over to Yazi. She's been hot from three-point line. There we go. Kick out to number three, number 11 on the drive. Good pass back. Here we go, Tuba City up and off the rim. All right, that ball's going to be out of bounds. And oh, never mind, jump ball. Possession arrow favored the Tuba City Warriors. Ball quickly swung around to Yazi, 23, bringing it back up to the top of the key over to number 11. Good dribble drive to the left, up underneath the basket. Oh, off her foot. Tough break for Itaki there, number 25. Had a great move, just bounced the ball right off her foot as she drove to the basket. Tuba City making some substitutions here now. Looks like we've got number five into the ball game. Tassini Reed. Quigley breaking down the pressure of the full court man-to-man -man press. Good pass off. We're going to get a block on number three, Michaela Shepard. That is her first personal. Oh, great move by number 10. Look at the speed coming down the lane. Great shot. Melissa Duat on the dribble drive. That, that was impressive. Great drive right down the middle. Split the defense of the Tuba City defenders and up for the easy layup. Tuba City back at it here on offense. Almost stolen away by Quigley. Pass around the top of the key. Number three, Shepard. Back over to number five. Triple drive by number 10 up in the middle. Oh, good block there by Bishop or Bledsoe. Up and we're going to get a foul on Quigley. Great battle under there by Ataki, number 25, who will go to the line to shoot two. That is Quigley's first personal foul. Only the second on the L.A. Gilbert Eagles. First free throws off the right side of the rim. Here's a shot number two. And ball is up and gets the shooter roll. Great shot. Good soft touch there by Ataki. Tuba City staying with their four court pressure. Quigley breaks it down. Great pass to number 33 for the up and layup. Great shot there by White Rock and great look by Quigley on the, on the cut and backdoor pass. Yazi dribble left. Skips it across. Quigley trying for the steal. Doesn't quite get it. Back over to Yazi. She's open for three. She's got it again. Woo-wee. That's nine quick points all off the of three-pointers for Larissa. Great shooting. Here we go. Quigley up quickly. Moving right down the lane. Here we go. Up off the backboard. Nothing. Rebound controlled by Ataki. Quickly out over here to number four, who's into the ballgame now. Shayla Doogie. Up for three. Number 10. Tuba City is just lighting it up. That's Tyla. I can't say the last name, but great shot. <laughs> Bledsoe up, hurried, nothing. Great, great press there. Way to break the pressure down by, by Bledsoe. So Madison Bledsoe will go to the line here. Or sorry, Monty Bledsoe, not Madison. I apologize. Bletzel's first three throw is up and good. Awesome. 
Here comes Bledsoe for her second free throw. Ball's up and good. Good looking stroke there by Manny or Monty. Tough break there for Tuba City. Ball up quickly to number 33. There's White Rock. Oh, no call. A lot of ball there, I guess. Number four quickly up for Tuba City. She's pushing the ball hard. Here we go. Kick out to uh, 10 for another three and in. There's the second one in as many shots for Tyla, and she almost comes up with the steal. Number 10, Tyla is lighting it up right now for Tuba City and almost comes up with a big steal to get the possession back for the Warriors. Eagles look to inbound here. Bledsoe in to inbound, gets it in. Oh, tipped away by Tuba City. Number four, great dish under to 35 for another two. That's uh, Chanil Nodman into the ball game. And great assist by Shyla Doogie. Tuba City on a run early, 27 to 13. Wow, Tuba City has come out firing and is hot. Anyway, this is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067 and italk1067.com. Thank you for being here. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. And welcome back to the Finley Toyota Center here in Prescott Valley, Arizona. We're glad you chose to join us, whether you're watching online at italk1067.com or via YouTube or any of our links on social media. We appreciate you joining in. We've got a great matchup here between Tuba City and ALA Gilbert. Tuba City has come out scorching the nets. Uh, I, I believe as I'm counting up on my stat sheet here for the first quarter, we have four three-pointers, and I probably have missed one or two in there maybe because it has been just a clinic of shooting here by the Tuba City Warriors to start this game off, and the score reflects 27-13. Looks like ALA Gilbert will get the ball to start the second quarter here. Quigley up top, quickly over to number, uh, I can't say, there we go, number 23. Quigley back here, great give and go, up and under. Well-designed play there by the ALA Gilbert squad. Tuba City back with the ball now. Great look by Tyla out over to number four off the back of the iron there for Doogie. L.A. Gilbert looking to push. Here's Bledsoe, good look to number five, and it's up and in. Good give and go again by A.L.A. right there. They're coming out passing the ball and sharing it well. That's uh, Madison Brown newly into the game for her first two. Number five for Tuba City on the drive. Oh, no call. Probably could have been a charge there. No call though, Bledsoe quickly over to number five, Madison. Here comes Brown, up over, good give and go again. They're gonna get her for a travel. Couldn't quite secure the pass by Quigley. Great idea, ALA's really coming out, sharing the ball here early and get, getting their give and go offense going. Tuba City's ball. Looks like on the inbound there is Nodman. Inbounds to number 11, Gurley. Gurley looks to pass over to the right wing to number three. Triple drive to the right, kick off to number 25. I believe that's uh, Taki back in the ball game. Good little spin move up and under. No, oh, off the left side of the rim, gets her own rebound back up. Off the board, oh. Oh, tough break for Taki. Great moves, got her own rebound. Good defense there by Bledsoe though. Getting those hands up and not coming down on top of the offensive player to draw the foul. She's kept those hands up and disrupted the shot. Good full court pressure there by number three. That is uh, Sh Michaela Shepard putting pressure on the ball here. Shepard up top, down to Quigley here at the at the wing, looking to run the offense. She dribble drives to the left, nothing there. She kicks out. Here's White Rock, resetting a bit at the top of the key. 
Oh, good move, good jab step. Shepard with the push. And I've got that as her second. We'll see if the official scorekeeper agrees with me here. Yeah, her second foul. So they're going to get her on the bench and bring in Yazi, who has been absolutely scorching the nets from the three-point range. Here's Quigley, number 34. Tough pass for White Rock. Oh, White Rock almost gets back. Nothing there, though. Ataki pushes the ball up court. Quickly to the corner, number 22 for three. Do we get another one? Nope. That might be Tuba City's only first or second miss from three-point line here in this game. Quigley was able to secure the ball there after an errant pass. Tuba City really playing scrappy defense, digging that ball out as it goes in. Here we go, number 23, Yazi. Good pass over to 11. Up and, oh, partially blocked, it looked like, maybe by Quigley there, number 34. Gurley couldn't quite get it up and over. Here's number 23 for the Eagles, K. Looking to drive to the right, nothing there. White Rock for three. Oh, off the back of the iron. Good rebound there by number 22, Chi, for the Tuba City Warriors. Here comes Chi, quickly over to number 11. 11 dribbles in, nothing there. Back to Chi at the top of the corner. Here's Yazi from deep, and she nailed it. She is deadly from out there. Number, ya number 23, Yazi for the three-pointer again. I believe that's four now for her. She is just scorching the nets. We're going to take a quick break here. We appreciate you tuning in, listening to the Cholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free Just dinner. 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass Cash back to you. And welcome back to italk106.7.com's presentation of high school basketball. We've got the ALA Gilbert. Girls taking on the Tuba City Warrior girls, and here we go. L.A. Gilbert's got the ball quickly over to Dudua. Up and off. Full court pressure here by L.A. Gilbert. Good poke out there by the, by the uh, Eagles, quickly over to 10. She decides back and back out. Good defense there by number 11. Oh, great still. Great still by Chi there. There we go, Tuba City with the ball looking to set up their offense. I would imagine just shoot the three-pointer with Yazi. That's about all you need to do. Oh, no help defense by the Eagles. Yazi able to take it all the way in for the, for the easy layup. Oh, that's nothing there. Oh, all right, well, all right. L.A. Gilbert gets the, uh, gets the three-pointer off the no-call by the referee. That was Madison Brown for the three-pointer. Oh, tough pass there. No. Number 35, uh, that is Chanel Nonman could not gain control after the errant pass by number 11, Curley. We're still 32-19, Warriors. Ball into Quigley here. Quigley looking to dribble drive on number 22. That's Chi playing some good defense. Good look over there. Nice pass in there by Quigley. Good little give-and-go game once again by the Eagles. Yazi pass down to number four, Doogie, and she gets it. Good look up to Dudua. Here she comes. Tuba City playing tough, tenacious defense. Here's Bledsoe on the drive again. Is she going to get it? Oh, they're going to call it on the floor. Foul on number 25, Ataki. I've got that as her second. She's the starting starting five for the Tuba City Warriors. Looks like they're going to get her out of the ball game, stay out of foul trouble. And they bring in number 40 for Ataki, which is Rainbow Willie. Probably one of the better names in all the tournament, Rainbow. And here we go. Oh, foul over the back on number 22. That's Chi. That should be her first personal. That will send Quigley to the line. 
Seems like Quigley sort of the, the do-it-all player for the ALA Gilbert Eagles. Up with her first, and she puts it in. This is her uh, first trip to the free throw line. Quigley up with the next, and in again. Two beautiful shots. She's got a good-looking stroke there. Here comes Yazi up the middle of the floor. Quickly out over to number 10, Tyla. Number 22 backs it down in, kicks out to Yazi. Yazi on the dribble drive, nothing there. Kicks it out to Dugai, number four. Here comes Chi, swings it back over to 40. Quickly back out to Dugai, here we go. Nothing there, swings it over to Yazi. Tuba City being patient, looking for the best shot possible. Yazi penetrates. Pivots around, kicks back out. Here's, here's number four, quickly over to number 40 for Tuba City. She's driving down the baseline, gets it up, nothing. It's a great drive, just couldn't get the uh, couldn't get the shot to fall. Here comes Quigley up, quickly up the court. Great pass underneath, good eye, good vision there by Quigley. Great finish by Bledsoe. Good work between those two teammates there. And uh, L.A. cutting into the lead here a little bit. They've got a nine-point lead. This is Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067 and italk1067.com. I chose MPC because it offers good quality education. Ultimately, I want to be a nurse anesthetist, which is the start to that path. The instructors want you to succeed, which is really helpful. I've learned a lot so far in just one semester. It's been kind of crazy how much I've learned. Northland Pioneer College is transforming my life by helping me achieve my goals in my career. All right, we've got the ALA Gilbert Eagles trying to make a comeback here on Tuba City. The difference has to be that Tuba City hasn't hit a three-pointer in the last five minutes, so that's where a lot of their scoring came from in that first quarter as they work it around the top here now. Good drive in by Tyla, good block there by 34 Quigley, up quickly to White Rock over to Bledsoe. Bledsoe gets hammered, but it still goes in, no call. Great shot there and great finish. We're cutting into that lead now here as the ALA Gilbert Eagles. Here comes Yazi, first shot off the mark, almost gets her own rebound, nothing. Quigley pulls down the rebound. Eagles looking to run again, up quickly to Bledsoe, back to Quigley. Quigley drives in, draws the foul, and one. Look at them coming back here. The Eagles are storming back. Great shot by Quigley, way to run the floor. She's going to get an and one op opportunity here. Looks like there's really been a concerted effort by the Eagles to get out and run here. Uh, their coach called a timeout a couple minutes ago, and I think he really challenged them to play some good defense and get out in transition and open up the floor. And Quigley is perfect from the line, three for three so far on the game. Looks like here we go. We've got uh, number 11 dishing out here to number 35 is in the game. Now Nodman swings out over to number 10, Tyla. Quickly back over to number one, back to Tyla. Up at the top of the key to 35. Tuba City working it around patiently, trying to get their best shot possible. Good kick out. Tyler or Nodman back. Tuba City being really patient, working the ball in and then back out. Oh, man, after all that patience, not a great shot there. Really got hurried there at the end. Number 10, uh, Tyler not taking the best shot that they were offered there. Quickly off the hands but controlled by 33 White Rock for the Eagles. Quigley looking direct traffic, traffic back to the basket, squares it up, dribbling around, back over, looking to get the ball to Bledsoe. Bledsoe over on the left-hand side, back up top to White Rock. Looking to dribble drive left, gets screened from Dudewitt. Here we go, back up, Quigley, top of the key, around the free throw line, working back down. Good kick out to White Rock, thought about it. In quickly, nice work, up and under for another and one opportunity for the ALA Gilbert Eagles. Great patience being exhibited right there by the Eagles, and they are cutting into one, what was once about a 13, 14 point lead. They're only down two right now with a chance to bring it to within one.
and ALA is shooting the free throw very well today. They have yet to miss one. Tuba City trying to be disciplined again. Here we go, Chi on the drive, up and in. That's a, that's a great shot by Chi right there. And there's halftime, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you tuning in online here to italk1067.com. Stick around. We've got another great half of basketball. As this is the Sholos Ford presentation of high school basketball on italk106.7 and italk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free dinner. 536-5972 Mountain Mobile Auto Glass cash back to you. I chose MPC because it offers good quality education. Ultimately, I want to be a nurse anesthetist. Which is the start to that path. And the instructors want you to succeed, which is really helpful. I've learned a lot so far in just one semester. It's kind of crazy how much I've learned. Northland Pioneer College is transforming my life by helping me achieve my goals in my career. I chose welding because there's always going to be a job and you can go so many different directions within it. The professors helped me so much with getting my skill level up to where it needs to be and helping me progress in the ways that I want to. It teaches you really to be job ready, having a good attitude and still working hard. NBC has transformed my life by giving me a skill and a trade that I can take with me wherever I go. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. 
And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free dinner. 536-5972 Mountain Mobile Auto Glass cash back to you. I chose MPC because it offers good quality education. Ultimately, I want to be a nurse anesthetist. Which is the start to that path. The instructors want you to succeed, which is really helpful. I've learned a lot so far in just one semester. It's kind of crazy how much I've learned. Northland Pioneer College is transforming my life by helping me achieve my goals in my career. Welcome back, everyone, to the Finlay Toyota Center in Prescott Valley, Arizona. We are in the middle of a great game between the Gilbert, a ALA Gilbert Eagles and the Tuba City Warriors. We uh, have had an interesting first half. The Tuba City Warriors jumped out to a great lead, built behind the scoring of who you're seeing right there on your screen, number 23. Uh, her first name is Larissa Yazzie, and she's hit four or five three-pointers, got a couple of layups. She's been all over the floor playing great defense and just has really done a great job. On the other hand, uh, L.A. Gilbert came back by getting out in transition, really pushing the ball up the floor. Tuba City had deployed a man-to-man -man full court press for much of the first half, and it seemed like the Eagles finally figured out how to break that press down and got uh, some easy transition buckets near, near the end. Probably, I, I don't have the exact run in front of me, but it was probably around a 10 to two run that uh, got them back in this ball game and only down by three points. So uh, anyway, there's been just some great ball playing happening on both sides of the ball. Uh, just to recap scoring, uh, we have Larissa Yazzie at 14 points. 
uh, followed by the next closest, Jada Chi at seven. And over for the Eagles of Gilbert, we have Tiffany Quigley with nine, uh, followed by Manny Bledsoe uh, with six. So anyway, great, uh, great first half of basketball. Our ace key hardwares to the game, or keys to the game, are stay hot to the city. <laughs> if they want to pull off this win, they need to stay hot from the three-point line. And for the Eagles, it appears getting out in transition is where their success is going to come if they want to pull out the victory here and move on in the tournament. So remember, Ace Hardware has 24-hour locksmith the next time you're locked out of your car or just need a key replaced any hour of the day or night, any night of the week. Call Ace Hardware, your helpful place with three locations, Pine Top, Overguard, and Sholo. Well, here we are back to the action. Tuba City had the ball to start the second half here. There's Yazi up to the top far far wing. Back over to Chi, quickly up over here to Shepard. Swings the ball over to number 11. That is uh, Curly. Curly quickly swings the ball over to Chi in the corner. Sizing up her defender. Oh good, quick hands there by Dudewit. Bledsoe gets fouled. We're gonna have a foul, looks like maybe on number three. No, it's gonna be on number 22, Chi. I have that down as I have that down as her second personal there. Quigley with the ball here in the front court, moving across the time stripe. Passes the ball off to number 23, Kelly Key. K. K dribbles in over to do it. 34 Quigley. Tiffany for the three. Oh, off the front of the rim. Good rebound, follows her own shot, tries to get down to Bledsoe. Great quick hands there by Ataki. She's pushing the ball up quickly. Looks to swing it in. There's Yazi for the floater and gets it. Her first two points of this second half for Yazi. Here comes number 10 for the Eagles. Quickly pushes up, quickly down low, up and add off. Great rebound there by Chi. Looking to push the ball as well. The one thing I really like about Tuba City is they everyone on their team is a ball handler. They, oh, they're going to call the shot off. Reach in on number 22, Monty Bledsoe. And I have that down for her first, but I might be wrong on that. It is her first, according to the official scorekeeper. But what I was getting at is Tuba City, really, they, just everyone on their team dribbles the basketball. They rebound, and they just whoever rebounds the ball just takes off. That's, that's a great benefit to have if you're the coach of Tuba City. Great board underneath by Chi, gets fouled. Which will send Chi to the line to shoot two. Her first two free throws of the game coming up. That foul was on Alyssa Dudwat. And uh, I really apologize to her parents and to her. I'm slaughtering her name every time I say it. <laughs> but anyway, here's Chi for the first of her two free throws. And she rims out the first. All right. Looks like we get a sub into the game here for the Eagles. Sends Dudouat back to the bench. Number 20 coming in is uh, Kylie McCabe. Quickly up to McCabe over on the right-hand side. Looking in. There's White Rock. Dribbles back out to the corner. Nothing there. Bledsoe cuts through. They didn't get it to her, though. Good little move there by 23. White Rock dribbles around, looking for someone to get the ball to. Here's Quigley at the top of the key, getting the screen by White Rock. Being patient, dribbles in. About 12 feet. Good look to Bledsoe and gets it. Great, great pass by Quigley to a cutting, cutting Bledsoe along the baseline or through the middle of the key for an easy two. Good rebound underneath by Tuba. Quickly back out to Yazi underneath to Taki. Double teamed. Up. Oh, great block by Quigley. Shepard on the rebound. Up over to number 11 off the. Oh, wow. What a scrappy play there. <laughs> Curly is just getting in there. Oh, they're going to get her for the foul. Woo. 
I'm sitting over here on the side where a lot of Tuba City fans are at, and that uh, that's not making them happy. And I would probably agree. That looked like a pretty good play. Not a lot of contact there. Well, here comes Tuba City with their full court pressure again. White Rock dribbling up the right side of the floor, closely guarded by Shepard. Errant pass, picked off by Chi. Here we go, we got a fast break, three on two. Let's see if Tuba City can make anything of it. They back it back out, Shepard holds the ball, kicks over to Chi in the corner. Chi, skip pass over here to Yazi. Yazi quickly takes it back up to Curley. Nothing there, Shepard here at the wing, looking inside, nothing there. Here's Chi in the corner. Chi dribble penetration in the middle of the floor, it's pivots, looks around. There's Ataki, kicks it back out to, that looks like Curly back out there. Curly looking to set things back up. She's got number 20 on her, which is a big size difference there. Back into Shepard. They're going to get quickly on the foul. Good patient offensive set there by Tuba City. Quick foul there on Quigley. That. So quickly draws her second foul. Yazi to pass the ball in out here to Nodman. Nodman for it, gets the three. Her first three pointer of the game. Great inbound play there by the Warriors of Tuba City. Ball into Quigley here at the top of the play. Good give and go. Oh. Off the backboard hard, good battle by Bledsoe. Back up by number 23 for the Warriors. That's Kel Keely Kie for her first two of the second half. Good effort there by, by Keeley. She really just took advantage of people standing around up court quickly to Bledsoe. Here comes number 22, up and in. Being chased down by Nodman, but she couldn't quite get there. Number 22, Monty Bledsoe up for the two. Here's Nodman for a second three. Nope, off the back end. Tiffany quickly coming down with the hard rebound. Picks it up quickly out over here to K. K in the front court being guarded tightly by Yazi. Good little give and go action there with K, and she gets the bucket. Quigley is really a good passer from that high post position. As the Eagles cut through the basket, she's able to find them. They swing it around to Shepard, into Yazi in the corner. Does she get another one? She does. Have yourself a game, Larissa Yazi. Quickly up, quickly up the front court, makes an air pass. Ataki on the steal. Pushing the ball up. Here comes Yazi. We got a little two on one action. She decides to back it out, gets the cutter. Shepard gets taken out. Oh, up court to Bledsoe. Can she track it down? She doesn't. Ball out of bounds. Good idea by Quigley to push that ball up quickly, but just a bit too hard on the on the up court pass. Here we go. Check out the replay here. Yazi backs it out, and here comes Shepard down the lane, and you're going to see Quigley come right into your screen and just <laughs> takes her out. Oh, good hard play. Depends on which side of the court you're on. will depend on how you feel about that last block there. Here we go, Warriors working it around now. Number four from deep. Oh, off the corner. Ah. Well, here we go. Tuba City gets the ball out of bounds after the missed shot by Dugay. Hope I'm saying that name right as well. I apologize to all former ancestors and parents and everyone else that would be offended by me not saying their name right. 25 Ataki up. Nope, good block by Quigley again. There's two blocks in the last two defensive possessions. Eagles quickly up court. White Rock, good spin move with the left hand. Oh, doesn't get it. Rolls off the rim. Great rebound by Ataki. Here we go. There goes Tyler up the middle. Number four, Dugai. Oh, there's that's going to be an offensive charge. Yep. Offensive foul there. Well, as you're watching here online, you're going to see Dugai really push the ball hard up floor. And Kay, great positioning by Kay, great offensive charge. Tough getting the bound ball in. That's going to probably be, yep. Oh, all right. They're going to go to the Eagles of Gilbert. Tuba City continuing to apply the pressure. Get a ball in. 
Great inbound pass to Duduit. Here we go. Oh, off, just off the hands of number 20. That's Kylie McCabe. She couldn't control it. Well, let's see what Tuba City does here on offense, being up 45 to 41. Swinging the ball around here to Tyla. Tyla quickly over to number five for the Warriors. Oh, there they go, get the give and go back. Great pass to Itaki, up off the back of the rim. Good offensive set, back up for Nodman, nothing. That looks like what we're we gonna get, ref. Mm. All right. It's gonna be the Eagles basketball. I, you might be able to see it online, but to me it looked like that went off Quigley's right foot. But regardless, here we go. Eagles get the ball up to the time strike. Coming back around, we're gonna get a foul on number 10, Tyla. I've got that as Tyler's first personal foul. Eagles 10 down here. Get the ball over to Quigley. White Rock on the great drive, up and under, great scoop. I'm really impressed with the way the Eagles are sharing the ball. Great cuts, great passes. Not a lot of turnovers by either team here. Great dig out there by White Rock. Here we go. Quickly over to Quigley, penetrates in, kicks back out to Duduit. Here we go, up and off the rim. Good rebound there by Nodman. Ooh, maybe a little carry. She got away with it. Nodman up for two. Good pressure defense there by, by Dugai. Kicks it over to Quigley. Here's Quigley underneath. Kicks it back out to White Rock. White Rock on the drive. We're going to get a charge. Great offensive charge there. Way to take the contact. I believe that was Ataki that drew the charge. She stood right in there, stood her ground. Yep, great play. Good call by the referee. And that foul was on White Rock. I've got that down as her first. All right, here's Yazzie in the front court. Looking to set up the offense. Swings it quickly over to Nodman at the wing. Swings it over to Shepard in the middle. Down to Ataki. Ataki's looking around. Spread, Tuba City spraying out the floor. Oh, she gets tripped up. No foul call. They're pushing the ball. Here comes White Rock up easy and alone. Oh, the ball rolls off the rim. Good rebound by Duduit. And she puts it in. Great, great reverse layup. Way to follow the pass and shot. Good hustle by the Eagles. They've cut it now down to two, 45-47. With two seconds left, there's Nodman for the buzzer. She got it. She got it. Nodman at the buzzer to put the Warriors up by five. Well, we're moving on. Fourth quarter. I chose welding because... Thank you for tuning in to Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk1067 and online at italk1067.com. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. All right, as we start the as we start the fourth quarter, when it comes to tip off, when it comes time to tip off your college education, choose the college with the lowest tuition in Arizona, Northland Pioneer College. They are our tip off and quarter sponsor. We really appreciate them making this all possible and allowing us to come over to Prescott Valley today for the girls' 3A quarterfinal state playoff championship bracket basketball. That's a mouthful, and I probably said it wrong, but anyway. Gilbert Eagles and Tuba City Warriors are in a battle here. They're scrapping along the baseline there. We've got a jump ball that's going to favor the Tuba City Warriors. Great hustle there by Gurley, or Curley, 
excuse me. And Tuba City brings the ball up to the front court. They continue to be hot from the three-point line. We'll see if that continues here in the fourth quarter. Ataki, oh, has it stolen by number 20 of the Eagles. That is uh, Kylie McCabe. Here's Keeley Kay into the middle. Nothing there. Listen to it. Back out top. Here's White Rock. White Rock looks to pass in to Quigley. A little give and go action. White Rock in, in the middle. Back over to McCabe in the corner. McCabe down to Quigley. Quigley up to McCabe. McCabe for three. Oh, off the back iron. Good rebound by Dudewitt. She controls it. Great hustle there by number 10 for the Eagles. Back up top to K. K dribble drive over to the right. Kick over to Dudewitt. Back to K. Good screen by Quigley. And that frees up K for the 18 foot jumper. Great two man game there between Quigley and K. Tuba City Ataki back up top. Here's here's Chi for 18. Nothing. Good box out. Good steal by Quigley. They're going to have a jump ball. That's going to be Eagles basketball. That's uh, twice now here early in the fourth quarter that uh, number 11, that is uh, Jada, or sorry, excuse me, Gracie Curley for the Tuba City Warriors has gotten tangled up in one of those jump balls. Got to admire her hustle. Here's Yazi playing defense there on number 23 for the Eagles, Keely K. Triple drive up and in. Great, great move. K. K does not want to go home early. She's pushing the ball. Oh, errant pass there by Shepard. Out of bounds. And it's Eagles basketball. Tuba City's going to set up their full court man to man press here. Chi guarding the inbound. Up over here to do to it. K clears everyone out. That way she can bring the ball up the floor. Dribble over to the left. Shepard playing some tough D. There's a great steal. We've got number 11, Curly, on the on the steal again. Great defense being played by her here in the fourth quarter. There's a Taki. Shot fake. Back out to Shepard for three. She's long. Curly on the rebound. She goes back up, draws the foul. So Shepard goes long on the air ball three, but there's Curly right there, right spot, right time. She's going to draw the foul on number 10, Alyssa Dudewitt, and she will go to the line and earn her two free throws. Here's uh, Curly's first free throws of the game. First shot, up and in. Good looking stroke there for, for Gracie. Or, yes, for Gracie. Gracie eye in her shot, up and, oh, just off the back iron, rims out. So she goes one for two from the line. Brings the Warriors lead up to 51-49. Here comes the Eagles, look at, oh, she got Quigley for deep. She gets it. That was almost the NBA range right there for Quigley. Errant shot, good rebound controlled by the Eagles. They're pushing up hard. Alyssa is quick. She pushes that ball quickly up to the front court. They're being trapped. They're going to get a timeout called for the ALA, ALA Eagles. They're going to go with the 22nd here. So we will go to break. We appreciate you listening, tuning in to Show Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067 and italk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy, Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford, on the east end of the deuce, and at SholoFord.com. Welcome back to Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball here on italk1067 and italk1067.com. I just looked up during the timeout break there and realized the Gilbert Eagles, ALA Gilbert Eagles, have come back to take the lead. I uh, still felt like Tuba City was in the lead, but uh, here we go. We're going to have a great game. We've got about 5 minutes and 27, 27 seconds left. 
These girls are playing hard. Neither one of these teams want to go home. They want to continue to advance to the final four of the 3A state championship girls bracket. We've actually got a lot of seniors playing for the ALA Eagles. Um, so you can only imagine the added motivation they have. Here's Quigley over on the left side wing. She dribbles in, shot up, off the back. She gets her own rebound, good follow. Decides to kick it back out. Still dribbling around, drives in, kicks it back out to Kay to reset the offense. Good move by Kay, good jab step, goes right. Kick out to Dudewitt for three. Oh, off the front of the iron. Good rebound by White Rock. Resets it back up. Here's K for three off the rim. Good rebound cleared there by Chi. Chi pushes the ball up the floor for the Warriors. Over to number 11. Number 11 dribbles. Kicks out over to Yazi. Yazi on the left wing. Kicks into Chi. Chi at the free throw line. Is up. Gets the, oh, no shooter roll. Quickly down with the rebound. She quickly up. Quickly up front court to White Rock. Wisely decides to pull it back out, and they will reset the offense here up 52-51. to 51. Great backdoor pass. Oh, nothing there. It was a good good idea by Quigley and White Rock. It's been there all game, but uh, they just couldn't hold on as the ball skips out of bounds. Yazi brings the ball up. Her team down by one. Going with the left hand over. Kicks it over here to Shepard. Shepard holds into, let's see, there's a talk. Is that a Taki? Yep, a Taki number 25. Quickly swung out here to Nodman. Into Chi at the high post, looking for a cutters. No one there. Going up against Quigley. Taki, good baseline move. Good idea. Couldn't quite get the pass. We're going to get a jump ball that favors the Tuba City Warriors. Four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. 52 51. ALA Eagles up on top. Yazi to inbound. Looking for a cutters. Nothing there. Over to Ataki. Ataki swings it back out to Nodman. Nodman at the top of the key. Works it around to Yazi. Yazi over here on the left. Getting instructions from her coach. Setting up the offense. Over to Ataki at the three point line. Ataki drives into the left hand. Going up strong. Off the backboard. Hard. Rebound controlled by the Eagles. Here's Keeley K. Bringing the ball up the floor here for the ALA Eagles. Quickly over to White Rock. White Rock dribbles around to the right. Quickly, quick, quickly. She's got a little bit of lane. She drives in. Oh, decides to get back out. Here comes Dudu up on the glass and good. Alyssa Duat with the great move and great shot. Quigley had a lane but decided to kick it back out, and that proved to be the right move. We got a full timeout called by Tuba City. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Welcome back to the Finley Toyota Center here where we've got the Gilbert Eagles playing against the Tuba City Warriors. And it's a close game. The Eagles are up 54-51. They actually have trailed most of the game. Tuba City Warriors allowed them to get back in it, and they take have taken advantage and have built now a three-point lead. Just as a reminder, we have the Beeler Orthodontics Live to Smile, Love Your Smile, Straight Line Play of the Game coming up as well as Deemer's Glass, Glassman of the game, and the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports Player of the game. So as we move through the fourth quarter, keep an eye out for those. We will definitely be naming those as we move closer to the end of the game. Up pushes Shepard the ball. Got a little two-on-two -two fast break action here. Shot up quickly by Nodman. Ball off the back of the rim, controlled by Tuba City. Great rebound underneath there by Ataki and Shepard. Shepard in the corner, over to Chi. Chi back up to Nodman to set up the offense. Nodman looking right, passes over to Yazi. Yazi up at the top, line of the key, quickly back over to Shepard. Shepard gets a good screen, penetrating hard, great dish down to Chi. Oh, looked like maybe it was a good block, but the referee underneath the basket has a foul on Tiffany Quigley, number 34 for the Eagles. And that will send Chi to the line. 
Jaden Chi shooting her third and fourth free throws here of the game. Just a reminder, this is our Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw. Next time you need your windshield replaced, or any glass for that matter, call Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Up and in for Chi. She's now one for three from the line for the game. And she'll get her second free throw here as soon as the referee gets her the ball. Interesting to see that the rolling up of the shorts has even affected the girls' basketball realm. It's not just the boys. And here we go. So Chi gets her, her two free throws. That brings the Warriors within one, 54-53. Tough, hard defense. Looking to trap there in the corner. Nothing. Oh, they do get the turnover on Quigley. They get the turnover. That was a great trap. Came quick and hard. And here we go. Tuba City with a chance to take the lead late in the fourth quarter. Ball inbounds over here to Yazi on the right-hand side. Dribbles drive to her left, off her back foot. White Rock up for the fast break bucket. Good play by 33, White Rock. That gives her team a three-point advantage. Tough turnover there by number 23, Yazi. Just dribbled off the back of her foot. Nodman over here to the left, looking top of the key. Little handoff dribble drive to number three, Shepard. Gets knocked down, no call. Looks like Tuba City head coach gets a 20-second timeout. Didn't want to lose that possession, so good call. We'll, we'll stay right here during the 20-second and get a quick recap of where we're at. So your ALA Gilbert Eagles are up 56-53 to on the Tuba City Warriors. We've had a great game. Tuba City came out just blistering the nets. Um, I, they hit six, seven three-pointers in the first half, and here in the second half we don't have – many three-pointers. I, I can think of maybe one or two that have gone in for the Warriors, and that's really been the difference. That's what allow, has allowed the ALA Gilbert Eagles to get back into this game and uh, ultimately take the lead here late with two minutes to go. So Tuba City with the ball. Let's see what type of offensive set they can get. They could really use one of those three-pointers from Yazi right here to tie the ball game up. Ataki looking to dribble. She's at the free throw line, kicks it out over to Nodman. Nodman looking to get the ball over here to number three, Shepard. Shepard, dribble drive being played tough by Duduit. Good kick over to Nodman. Nodman up off the glass, no good. Rebound by Alyssa, number 10. Shepard looking to apply some full court press here. Keely Cade has done a wonderful job manning the point guard position for the Eagles, and she continues to break down that man-to-man -man full court press of the Warriors. Quigley up top, back to the basket, kicks over to, to Key, or K, excuse me. K dribble to the left, she's got a lane, coming in, kicks it back out to Dudewit. Dudewit dribble drive to the left, nothing going, being patient, looking in, nothing there. Ooh, we got a, maybe a five second call in the corner is Bledsoe. Bledsoe gets the baseline up and under, oh, short. It's a great drive by Bledsoe along the baseline, but just came up short on the layup. Shepard up quickly, up into the front court, kicks back to Chi, Chi. Nothing, oh, the whole Tuba City crowd over here wanted her to fire that three-pointer. Shepard in, back over to Ataki. Okay, we're going to get a timeout by Tuba City. Looks like a full timeout, so we'll break away here. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk1067 and italk1067.com. You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Well, here we go. The last minute and three seconds of this ball game between the Gilbert ALA Gilbert Eagles and the Tuba City Warriors. Tuba City's got the ball. Their coach just called a timeout. We'll see what offensive set they can come out here with. Um, Yazi's been real quiet so far here in the fourth quarter. No points. Um, so I my guess would be that they probably want to try to run a set to get her open. She's been money from the three point line. I believe she's six for seven or seven for eight. I, I only remember one that she missed. So let's see what they, what set they run to get her open. They've got her coming along the baseline here. Yep, Shepard over to Yazi. Here's Yazi, top of the key. 
Kicks it over to Nodman. Nodman looking to set up the offense. Looking right, you've got Yazi over on the left-hand side of the court. Shepard bringing it over. Here's Chi in the middle. Dribble drive. She's got a mismatch under there. There it is. Yep. Good decision by Chi to go up against the smaller K on that score. And here we go. Another big defensive stop by Tuba City if they can pick it up. K dribble left. Looking to get a screen from Quigley. Oh, a little reach in there. No call by Nodman. Nodman keeps going for that ball. Nothing going. Here comes Chi. Oh, Chi's going to draw the foul. With 22 and a half seconds left, so that's going to, we're not quite in the bonus yet for either team, so ball's going to be out of bounds. It's a good decision to foul by Chi. Tuba City's going to have to foul again to keep that clock stopped. Good defensive pressure. you got to go foul right there, Nodman. She's not fouling. you got to foul. Tie the ball up. What did they? Oh, we did get a foul. Okay. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't hear the whistle in here. It got real loud. Okay, one more foul. We'll put the Warriors in the bonus. 18.3 seconds left. Referees conferring. Make sure. Looks like we're going to try to get a sub in here. Tyler's coming in for 35 Nodman. Tyler pressuring the ball out of bounds. Dudois throws it into the backcourt. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. You got a foul. Yep, there you go. Shepard on the foul. Looks like that will be her third. And that will send Keely Kay to the free throw line. And it'll be one and one. Keely's really had a great game. She's uh, She's been the leading point getter here in the second half for the Eagles. Done a wonderful job. She's been pressed all day long up and down the floor. Full court pressure all day. And she's handled it well as a point guard. Very few turnovers that I can remember. And gets the first one to go. So Keeley looking for her 10th point of the second half. Puts her team up by two with 15.2 seconds left. This would be a big shot here. It would make it so that Tuba City could not win the game on a three. And she gets it. Clutch free throws for number 23K. Here we go. Could be Tuba City's last possession of the half. Kicks it up quickly to Tyla. Tyla for three. Oh, off the top of the backboard. Bledsoe with the big rebound. Oh, it kicks out to quickly. They might not get her. This is going to be it. And the Eagles pull off the win as the number three seed advances over the number six seed, Tuba City. Wonderfully played game by both teams. Only fitting that Quigley for the Eagles, gets the ball and runs out the clock. She was amazing during the game. Well, let's get our uh, players of the game here. So the Beeler Orthodontics straight line play of the game, I'm going to give that to Tiffany Quigley. She hit a deep three-pointer early in the fourth quarter that really seemed to shift momentum for the ALA Gilbert Eagles, uh, put them up on top for good, really. At that point, it, went, it was 52-51. She did a wonderful job. So that's going to be our Beeler Orthodontic straight line play of the game. The Deemer's glass, glass man of the game. I'm going to give that to Bledsoe, Monty Bledsoe. Uh, she came in off the bench, had some big, big rebounds for her team. Uh, got a big rebound near the end of the fourth quarter there that uh, could have gone either way. So we'll give her the glass man of the game. And the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports player of the game. I know it's on the losing effort, but Larissa Yazzie had a uh, game-high... Looks like 25 points in a losing effort. Tough to go out that way, but uh, congratulations to her for the player of the game. She was all over the floor, did a wonderful job for the Tuba City Warriors, and uh, good for her. So anyway, that wraps up our game. This has been Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball, the 3A Girls State Playoff Championship on italk1067 and italk1067.com. And uh, we will be back for another game. Stay tuned with us. Find us online at italk1067.com. 
This has been an iTalk 1067 Sports Exclusive presented by Sholo Ford. High School Basketball is also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, Little Bluebird Studios, and Hudson's Furniture. This is a copyrighted broadcast. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or reuse of this program without the expressed written consent of ITALK 1067 and Country Mountain Airwaves is expressly prohibited. For more information about this game and others around the region, go to ITALK1067.com.